All right, now we're back at the monitor to put the power supply board in that we just repaired and test it out and see that we have a good unit. First thing you do is put the little corner into the little slot there, set the power supply in place. And you want to put the screws in first. And you want to make sure you have all the screws in because the screws are used to ground the power supply to the chassis to prevent uh, electrical shock hazards. So you want to make sure you have all the screws in place before you power it up to test it. Okay, now we got the screws in. You want to put the power cable going to the controller board in, and then the two backlight plugs. Now you want to put the RF shield back in place and lift both pieces up. I'll put those screws back in the ends. I'm going to turn it over. Put the screws in the other end. Now we can get our front bezel and place the monitor back in the bezel and plug in that front panel control cable. And now we can actually test the unit. We don't have to put the back on quite yet. So we'll get our power. We'll let our power into it. And then we'll get our video signal. VGA into it. And now we have a working monitor. And so now that we've tested it out, I'll go ahead and turn it back over. I can remove the power in the VGA so we can put the back on the unit. And it's just going to set down, make sure your cables are all tucked in place. The back is just going to snap back on and put our stand back on. And now we've completed the repair on the monitor. Another one saved from the trash pile.